Hello students, this is lecture number 10, Instruction Sets and Addressing Modes. First of all, the different hierarchy of the language or the language hierarchy. Uh, here we have the, we have first high level language, which is basically C programming, Java or pa Pascal language that you, you uh, the user deal with. Uh, it is, uh, when we deal with these languages, we don't care about the uh, processor design, so how the processor is actually uh, designed and how it works and uh, uh, whether this data is stored in this register or that register, so we, we really don't concern about this uh, issue. Then we have a, an assembly language. Assembly language, basically, it is uh, design uh, uh, the design of the processor is really matter because you you, you have to know where uh, you move the data to from this processor to the, uh, to the, from this register to another register or uh, the you have to take care about the addressing uh, different addressing mode and so on so the design of the processor is actually uh, matter here so in this language it is this language basically use abbreviation for example add a for, or add uh, B, so you have to add a content to this register, which is A, for example. So we are using uh, abbreviation uh, or a shortcut of the words. We are not using the full words. We are going to see this also. Uh, names for memory location, labels and symbols. You do care about the memory location, the symbols and so on, because you are moving data or instruction. You are moving data basically from this uh, memory location to another uh, memory location. So you are actually care about the location of the memory, the labels, and so on. Uh, we are using assembler basically to uh, translate uh, from assembly language to a machine language. So for assembly language, it is something user understand. So it is in English and it is basically uh, used abbreviation or English abbreviation so user can understand like for example add move divide this is user can understand so the assembler translate this assembly language into a machine language something computer can understand for example uh, the machine language is basically zero and one so you don't understand zero and one but the computer understands zero and uh, one uh, so this is basically what the processor use. It is using machine language. It is not using assembly language. Assembly language, it is for uh, human or for the user to uh, understand. So here an example of machine language, as I told you before, this is only abbreviation. So here it is in binary and here it is in hexadecimal. Uh, so here uh, move immediate this uh, uh, or move immediate uh, A. This is abbreviation of move immediate uh, A. So uh, this commands basically, or these instructions, uh, we can load uh, using this uh, instruction, we can load uh, a register with 8 bits values, for example. Uh, and uh, this instruction basically supports immediate addressing mode for specifying the data in the uh, instructions. Uh, another one we have this, we use for uh, Input, we have also move immediate B, uh, add, move, for example, move A to C, and then halt, which is stop uh, doing any uh, uh, or stop processing any instructions. So this is an example of machine language. As we already talked, it is basically uh, abbreviation or a shortcut. Uh, it is not the full words in English. What is instruction? Uh, it is a set of operation provided by the uh, processor. So, uh, de 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 determined by the design and the implementation of the processor, so it depends on the uh, processor design and how it is uh, implemented. Uh, there is some restriction for uh, embossed because it is depending on the design of uh, processor and the implementation of the processor. So you have to care about the size, the speed, and the complexity of the shape, and also the application use or the target application. So uh, here an example of the assembly language, uh, move immediate this data uh, or uh, the input, uh, this input to the input from here uh, to uh, A and then move immediate the input uh, to B, this input from here to uh, B and also add B uh, and then uh, you have to move whatever in A to C and then stop, uh, stop doing any instruction, halt. 
Uh, we have here the instruction format, so which uh, within the computer, each instruction is represented by a sequence of bits. So it's uh, the instruction, uh, as we already talked about, instruction is basically uh, move, add, for example, copy, all these are instructions. So how it is how it is represented in the computer, it is represented as a sequence of bits, zeros and one. So these instructions basically is divided in two fields corresponding to the constituent uh, elements of the instruction. So here, as you can see, this is uh, four bits. Uh, for example, it is reserved for the operational operation codes or OB codes. It means that the kind of operation we have to do. Like, for example, divide, multiply, add, uh, or subtract. Uh, then we have the operand references. Uh, that is used and the operand another operand references so it could be the result uh, so the source of the operands and it could be here the result so six bits six bits for the operand and also we have four bits for the operational code which is defining the kind of operation you are doing for this operands add multiply move copy and so on okay so here we have the instruction length. Most basic design issue affect and is affected by uh, the memory size, memory organization, which is the instruction length. It is basically uh, the length of the uh, of, uh, the instruction is actually cons uh, uh, it is actually uh, affected by the size of the memory that you have, the organization of memory, how the memory is organized, uh, the bus structure that is used for moving the data between the processor and the memory, for example. Uh, processor uh, complexity, how complex is your processor, the speed of your processor, and also it should be equal to the memory transfer length, or one should be a multiple of the other. Uh, this, this is because that you have to, if you have to move the data from the memory, um, for example, uh, to, uh, to a processor or you're using the bus, uh, the bus should have the same length as the, uh, the instruction length should have the same length. Uh, in this, if it, if it is the same length, then you can move the data. Like for example, 8 bits, 8 bits, so they are the same length. And if they are not in the same length, they need to be a multiple, for example, uh, of that length. For example, if it is 8 bits, a multiple of 8 bits will be uh, will be 16 or 24 or uh, 64 and so on. So this is a multiple of uh, 8 bits. So if you are moving data from 8 bits to a, uh, to a 16, for example, you can divide the instruction or you can divide the, uh, define the instruction into 8, 8. So you can move the data. So here uh, it should be equal to the memory transfer length or it should be a multiple of the other, as we already discussed. So uh, the instruction length should be at the same as to the memory transfer length, uh, or it should be a multiple of that. So the instruction length, for example, if it is 8, the memory transfer length should be 8. 8 bits, 8 bits, so you can move the data. Uh, if it is more than 8, it needs to be a multiple of 8. 8, 16, 24, like that. So you can divide it and then into two parts and then move it. So you can uh, transfer it like uh, if it is the instruction length, if it is 16, memory transfer length is 8, then you have to divide it into 8, 8. So you can have like something uh, uh, something equal to the memory transfer uh, length. So you can move it like 8 bits, 8 bits, 8 bits, two times. So elements of the instruction or the machine instruction, we already uh, divide that. It is uh, operation codes, which is operational code. This is actually defined the kind of operation you are doing. Divide, multiply, subtract, uh, move, and so on. Uh, source of the operand reference. The operation may involve one or more source of the operands. For example, uh, you are using some uh, multiplication. Multiply this to this. This is, this is an operand. That is, uh, uh, or the, uh, multiply, for example, A by B, so A and B are operands, so operands that are input for the operations. Result, opera, uh, operand uh, references, the result from the operation, the operation may produce a result here. 
In assembly language, so if we want to define the operation, uh, operation code, in assembly language, uh, operation, uh, uh, operational codes or operation code are represented by abbreviation, as we already discussed, because assembly language use abbreviation. So uh, in assembly language, we are using abbreviation for the operation, uh, add for add, sub for subtract, mul for multiply, uh, here div it mean divide, load it mean load data from the memory, store store data to uh, a memory. So each symbolic operation uh, operational code has a fixed binary representation in machine language. This is mean that uh, here operational code it will not appear like add as we already discussed before. And a computer don't understand add. It is in understanding machine language, which is zero and one. So, for example, add could be defined as zero 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 one. Multi multiply could be defined like zero zero one one. So these are uh, a code given to this different operation. Source and the result of the operand. So source and result operand can be one of four area. So where we can find the operand. For example, multiply two by two three, or multiply for example a by b, a register to b register, or what is the, the content of a register to the b register, and so on. So where you can find these operands, you can find it sometimes in the main memory. You can find the uh, in a processor register, it's already in the register, or you can take it from the input-output device, or it could be immediate, like, for example, uh, move uh, move A or move immediate A, so you can find it uh, immediately in the uh, instruction. So instruction types, instruction types, a data transfer or movement when you move data between uh, memory location or a register to memory location. Arithmetic is the different arithmetic operation like uh, division, multiplication, subtraction. Uh, logical also the different logical operation or and or shifting, rotating, transfer of control or uh, branching. The in computer program branching it means that you are uh, jumping to execute a different uh, 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 a different instruction. So it is basically an instruction in a computer program that can cause a computer to begin or to uh, to start executing a different instruction sequence and then it will return back to the uh, it could return back to the uh, that instruction uh, we have processor control processor control like halt disable uh, enable for example these are different or interrupt these are different uh, processor uh, control so we start first with the data transfer or movement Load, load and store, for example. So uh, data transfer, as we already explained, it is moving data between register and memory. Uh, it could be uh, input and output to external device, uh, or um, you move from memory location to another memory location using a register. So you move data from memory to register, register to memory. Move is really, it is really a copy operation. Uh, the uh, source location is, uh, is basically not changed, not altered. Uh, so it is like a copy. Uh, when you do move, it is like copy. So we have example of move here, uh, move immediate, when you load the register immediately with the uh, data, or uh, move between this and that, for example, load accumulator, uh, store accumulator, we have in and out also. Uh, so here an example of the data transfer, load the accumulator with the data byte, this, this data bytes a to uh, a, uh, a to h and save the data in register p. So you have to load the accumulator with this information or this data, and then you have to uh, save them uh, in a register uh, b. So uh, you have to move immediate this data into the accumulator, and then you have to move the data from the accumulator to the register p. So these are the two instructions. Uh, read, uh, uh, read it, uh, it uh, on off switch is connected to the input port with the address 00H. So this is the address of the input port. So you are reading an input from this uh, address and turn on the corresponding device connected to the output port with the address 01H. Uh, so the output uh, port you have to uh, turn on. Uh, the device connected to the output port, which is uh, 01 
H. So first you have to read the read uh, you have to re uh, read the uh, on off uh, switches that is connected to the address 00 uh, H, and then you have to turn on the device that is connected to the uh, this address which is 01 uh, H. So here uh, the N you are reading from you are reading from this address 00 um, input out is the 01 uh, H. So when it is on you have to uh, turn uh, uh, so you have to turn on the device in the corresponding uh, in this uh, address arithmetic most ma machine provide the basic arithmetic operations so we have add subtract multiply and uh, device other possible operation include a variety of single operand instructions for example we have absolute value uh, take the absolute value of the operand, negate, it means negate the operand, give the negative value, increments, you have to add one to the operand, uh, or uh, decrement, you have to subtract one from the operand, so you're decreasing by one. We have logical operation also, which is AND, or, uh, or exclusive, or a complement, that is not, uh, not, uh, not, uh, compare. Uh, we have uh, shift, uh, for, uh, we have compare, when you compare between two different uh, value. Uh, shift, which is uh, uh, shifting to the left or to the right. For example, you have to shift data to the left or shifting data to the right, move data to left or right. Rotate, uh, this is to move the data also. The rotation of the data to left or right, uh, or you can set or reset. So transfer of control, which is basically uh, used uh, uh, used in the loop branch, for example, or sometimes when you are calling the function. So reason why transfer of control operations are required, why we are using them, it is essential to be able to execute each instructions more than one. Sometimes you, you need a repetition. You have to uh, is, is execute some instruction more than one time, like looping. Uh, virtually, all the program involves some decision making branch. For example, if this happened, do this uh, or execute this uh, instruction. Uh, it helps if there are a mechanism for breaking the task up into a smaller pieces that can be worked on one at a time. Like for example, the function call uh, fun uh, or the subroutine. So sometimes, uh, instead of writing the same operation many times, uh, in the codes, you can define it once and then you call it many times, like the use of uh, average function, for example. You define it once and then you have to call it many times to, uh, uh, to, to be used. Uh, an example of this uh, transfer of control, we have uh, jump. Uh, here we have uh, jump uh, if uh, you have to uh, jump if zero. Uh, also, we have here. Uh, uh, jump if minus, which is this one, jump if minus. This one is actually a call. Uh, the, uh, this, uh, this is a uh, call. Uh, this is if, if there is a carry, if you have a call, if uh, this is call if zero. Uh, this is uh, actually returned. Uh, here uh, it is uh, another one, which is basically uh, if you have a carry, returned if, if carry, if you have a carry. So this is a different kind of transfer of control. So procedure, uh, procedure calls instructions, self-contained computer program that is incorporated into a large program. So you have uh, a call or system or procedure call. At any point of the program, the procedure may be invoked. So you are calling some uh, uh, procedure. Processor is instructed to go and execute the entire procedure and then return to the point from which the call took place. So you have a call or procedural call. Uh, so in this, when you do this call, you have actually two basic instructions. A call instruction that branch from the present location to the procedure. So you are jumping from the present location to the procedure that you want to execute. And then you have to return back. Return instruction that returned from the procedure to the place from what, uh, from which it was uh, called. So you have the call and the return. So we can explain these things here, uh, or these two, uh, uh, ex uh, these two instructions here. So for example, here you, are, you have some code. This is the main program. So you have a call. So you can see here, call, you jump, 
to the uh, to here to to execute this uh, codes and then you are executing another codes and then you have a call you are executing here the codes and then you have returns to this uh, codes and then you have executing these codes and then you have a call you jump to uh, this location and execute these codes and then you have two returns returns back to the uh, to execute the re return to the same location and then execute uh, these instructions and then you have a branch or uh, you have a call here procedural call then you go to uh, here to execute this uh, uh, execute these codes and then stop okay so this is an example of call and uh, returns or calls and returns uh, processor control these are example of processor control halt Enable disable interrupts. Read set uh, read set interrupt mask. Interrupt mask basically it is a bit that is turned on and off by the uh, program. We call it internet interrupt mask. And there is no if there is no operation, no operation. So no, no operation to be executed. The last part of this uh, lecture is addressing mode. Uh, addressing mode, we have different kind of addressing mode. We have immediate, direct, indirect, register, uh, register, indirect, displacement, and stack. We are going to explain each one of these uh, uh, individually. So we, we start with immediate addressing. So it is a simple form of addressing. The operand or the data is provided as a part of the instruction. So you can see here. In the instruction, you have the operand. So the, the operand is already there in the instructions. It is immediate. So uh, uh, used to manipulate the constants and also set initial values of uh, variables. So like, for example, x equal to 2. Okay. So here um, uh, you can find the operand in the instructions. The advantage of this, no memory reference other, uh, other than the instruction uh, fetch is required. So it is, all, it is already there. You don't have to uh, fetch the memory uh, to obtain the operand, thus saving one memory or cache cycle in the instruction cycle. So you don't have to use a cache cycle or a, a memory space. Uh, the disadvantage of this uh, immediate addressing the size of the number uh, uh, of the number is restricted to the size of the address fields. So this is the address field here. So the number or the size is restricted by the address field uh, in the uh, instruction. So in most instruction sets, uh, is small compared with the word length. So here, if you store it in the instruction, it will be smaller than uh, the memory. Some, if you store it in the memory, you will get uh, a, a larger size of uh, space to uh, store the data. So here you are restricted by the size. You cannot use a very large uh, operand. An example of uh, immediate addressing is uh, add immediates uh, this, uh, from these inputs. Okay, so here uh, from this input address or from this address uh, input here. So add immediate. This is an example of immediate uh, addressing. So you don't have to use uh, to uh, fetch the memory. Uh, direct addressing, the address of the operand is specified in the instruction. So here you have not the operand, you have the address of the operand. So uh, in the instruction, you will find the address that will take you to the operand that you want to use in the operation. So here uh, in the instruction, you have the address of the operands. Okay, so go to this address to find the operand. Okay, so example add 1020, which is this address, the address. Uh, what uh, add whatever operand in this address an assembler allow the use uh, or allows the use of named memory location for example add beta instead of using the uh, numbers so you can have a name uh, and, uh, uh, also names labels can also be used for branching for example uh, jump loop so you can use also the name here in the uh, uh, in the uh, branching also instead of using numbers uh, you can give it a name so here indirect addressing for the indirect addressing uh, the address in the operand field is that of a memory location which contain the address of the operands so here you have the address go to this address in this address you will find the address for the operands 
this is what we call it indirect addressing so here in the instructions or the in, uh, in operand field in the instructions you have the address that will take you to the address for the operand uh, that you want so this is what we call uh, we call it indirect so you are not giving the direct address for the operand but you are but you are giving the address uh, of the address of the operand so here add 1025 for example uh, 1025 so if you go to this uh, location add whatever address in this location so you go to uh, this location here 1025 you find the address for the operand which is 1020 uh, this is 1020 so you have to add this number the content 78 so parentheses are to be interpreted as a meaning uh, I mean, uh, as a meaning uh, contents uh, as a meaning contents so this is actually uh, here uh, add 1025 so you go to this location and then in this location you will find 1020 address you have to jump to or you have to go to this address to find the operands uh, register addressing so the operand is contained in a register so you have the operand directly in the register which is specified in the instruction so add b at the content of register b so you can find the uh, here the operand in this register and you name the register for example this register name is p so you go to the register p and you will find that uh, operand so you have to add whatever in register b for example uh, register indirect addressing so the specified register contains the address of the operand okay so here, here uh, if you go to the register for example the register here you add b uh, if you have this parenthesis it means that the address here so if uh, the add you add b so you jump to b but in b you will not find the operand you will find the address of the operand in the memory so you go to this address to find the uh, operands so the previous one uh, you add uh, the uh, in the previous one which is register addressing you immediately find the operand here in this uh, register so if we said add B it means that immediately you will find the operand in register B but here add parenthesis b it means that you will find the address of the operand in register b so uh, in the instruction you have the address of the operand so you jump to the uh, register and then in the register you will find the address uh, of the memory of the operands address uh, of the operands Uh, here an example of register indirect for example add r2 for example r2 it has the uh, address of the operands so 10 r2 it has 1020 so you jump to 1020 in the memory and you will find the uh, operand which is 78 uh, displacement addressing uh, it, displacement it means that you are combines the capabilities of direct addressing and register indirect uh, addressing so you require two address fields in this displacement addressing you should have two address fields uh, at least one must be explicit so so one is should be direct and the other one should be indirect so here one field is uh, used directly like for example a so here is the instructions so this is a this is direct and this is the other one which is indirect other fi uh, fields may be implicit refer to a register whose content are added to a to give the uh, address so if you add the contents of this register to the a you will have the address of the operands okay so uh, we have three common types here we have relative addressing base register addressing and also indexed addressing okay so we start with the first one displacement uh, addressing uh, the first kind is relative uh, addressing so the effective address is the sum of the address field offset and the program counter so as we already discussed before it should be it should requ it require two address one of them is direct and the other one is implicit which refer to a register the content that uh, which con uh, whose content is added to uh, the, the x the direct uh, one to give the address okay so here 
in relative addressing basically the content of the uh, program counter is added, uh, added to the address path of the instruction to obtain the effective uh, address so we have something direct like uh, direct like the program counter and then you have to add it uh, to a part of the instruction to obtain the effective address So here, uh, base register addressing, the reference register contains an address. So uh, the reference register contains an, uh, an address. So the address field contains a displacement. So you can see here, add uh, the address to the 3. Okay, so you have to add the 3 to the address of the register 2. So whatever address here to the register 2, you know, it should be added. And then it will give you the right uh, address to the operand. Uh, the last one, which is indexed addressing, that's type of displacement addressing, indexed addressing. The address field re re reference a memory location. So the address field here is a memory reference a memory location. The register contain a displacement. So uh, opposite uh, uh, opposite of base register addressing. So here it, you have the opposite. Here uh, you have the reference register contain an address, and the address field contain. Uh, a displacement but here you have the address field reference a memory location so you have the memory location and the register contain a, a displacement so you have to add these two uh, to get the address so add these two to get the address for the operand so we have stack addressing uh, stack addressing operand are placed on the stack so the operand is basically on a stack it's a type of memory a stack is a linear array of locations sometimes referred to as a push down list or last in first out queue uh, so uh, to, uh, so associated with a stack is a pointer so it has the stack always have a pointer whose uh, value is uh, the address of the top of the uh, stack so it is pointing to the top of the uh, stack the stack pointer is maintained in registers so stack pointer is actually a re uh, maintained in a registers so you can have a uh, top of the stack which is the pointer it is always uh, pointing to the top of the uh, stack is a form of implied uh, addressing so uh, this is for the stack. Stack is a kind of memory. So sometimes you uh, take the data as uh, last in, first out, for example, first in, first out. So it depends. And it has a pointer that is pointing to the uh, beginning of the uh, stack. Uh, or it is, uh, you have a pointer, a stack pointer, whose value is address of the top of the stack, the beginning of the stack. Here are a comparison between the different kind of addressing mode. Uh, with ad example, uh, with advantage and disadvantage, immediate as we already as we already discussed, you don't have you don't need a memory because the operand directly it is in the instructions. So limited operand magnitudes uh, because we said that it depends on the uh, and the uh, operand fields in the instructions. So uh, it depends on the uh, of the size of the operand fields in the uh, instructions. Direct it it is simple. Uh, but also it has a limited addresses uh, space and directs it is a large it gives you a large address space uh, multiple memory uh, references so you can reference multiple uh, memory address uh, register uh, you don't have uh, no memory reference because it is uh, you can find the operand in the register limited address because you are using the uh, register so you are actually limited to the register size Redi uh, register indirect so here you have the address in the register uh, so it has large addressing space because you are using the memory extra memory references uh, displacements it has more flexibility but it is more complex uh, because you are adding uh, a direct address or a direct uh, uh, you are adding actually one field which is directly uh, like program counter to uh, other fields that is actually referred to address whose content are added to the uh, that direct one. So so it, uh, you have addition of two, uh, a direct one and another uh, address that is actually refers to uh, a, a register, for example, that contain the, uh, the, uh, the address that should be added to uh, the direct one to get the address of the operand. So this is more complex, uh, more complex to actually 
uh, implement and we have the stack there is no memory reference because stack is or, uh, already uh, it is using register so uh, limited ability so it is actually uh, very limited to be applied limited uh, uh, to apply this one okay so here is a summary of the all the addressing uh, mode which is immediate that you can find the address uh, or you can find the operand directly in the instruction but it is limited to the instruction size as we already discussed direct we have uh, also direct uh, a direct addressing it means that you will find the address in the uh, instruction and you have to go directly to this address to find the operand indirect in the uh, uh, in the instruction fields you will find an address uh, that contain an address for the operand uh, in, uh, here for example register in the instructions you will find the name of the register that contain the operand okay uh, in the register indirect in the uh, instructions you will find for example uh, the uh, name of the register that contain the address of the operand in the memory uh, displacement you have actually uh, to add one field that is direct like for example here and another field that is referring to uh, a register okay uh, whose contents are added to uh, a to find the address of the operands and the last one is the stack uh, it depends of the uh, uh, this is uh, actually top of the stack register here uh, so it has stack pointer that is pointing to the beginning or the top of the uh, stack it is depends uh, it may be uh, it is uh, push down list or it could be uh, first in first out and so on or last in first out and so on 